שלום. יו פריז אונה גלוטי אהובה שמר שעה ושמר קקדש. דובלון נסטי ארזיס פרס אוסק מימי אוסר נתון שיף עם פיס פלסנס ארטיז'נס. זה תחוף על נץ. As you can see, I've done a video on a half an hour long one. But all I'm going to say is... <clears throat> I've been making my body as a living sacrifice. If you know, you know. But, um... <clears throat> yeah. And as for the hives and berries... I'm going to have to wait till... Well, a few days before I can go out. <clears throat> main reason is because my tripod's mashed up now. You see, the, the leg broke off. I, I can't use the tripod no more. So I'm just going to have to get on the phone. <clears throat> I may be out of commission for a temporary time, but <laughs> I'm going to continue. Don't worry. Um, yeah, going into this video, video here, as it says, I ran just announced joint military exercises with Saudi Arabia, and evidently, this is prophecy. <clears throat> well, those who know prophecy know that this is prophecy, <laughs> but let me play them. Iran just announced military exercises with Saudi Arabia, and this is huge news. Iran said, quote, Saudi Arabia has asked that we organize joint naval exercises in the Red Sea. Now, considering these countries have been enemies for decades, this is really big news. It's worth knowing, though, that the new Iranian foreign minister went to Saudi Arabia a few weeks ago, and he spoke to the Saudi crown prince, Mohammed bin Salman. So it's clear that both Saudi Arabia and Iran are certainly coming closer together now because even that was a big thing. Now what these naval drills in the Red Sea will actually involve is obviously unknown, except it does appear that Egypt will also be participating in them as well. And this really is a huge deal. You probably know, but both Iran and Saudi Arabia have previously fought proxy wars against each other in Yemen. And as Saudi Arabia ditched the petrol dollar a few months ago, it certainly shows that they're moving closer to the east. And of course, this is a huge problem for the US and their foreign policy, as they used to be really good allies with Saudi Arabia, except that that's kind of changing now and it doesn't seem like it's going to be lasting for long. But regardless, Iran is expected to be holding joint naval exercises with Saudi Arabia and potentially Egypt. So this is a huge deal and I'll definitely keep you updated on it. But you can leave me a follow for some more global news like this. Build wealth every day with Trading212. Invest with zero commission. And without the hassle of picking it. Well, yeah, like he just saw me. <clears throat> No, but prophecy. It's gonna just 15 and 28. And like it says, behold an horrible vision. And the prince are from the east. Where the nations of the dragons of Arabia shall come out with many chariots, being many vehicles. And the multitude of them shall be carried out as the wind upon earth. That all they which hear them may fear and tremble. Which, if, if you know anything about the Saudi Arabians or the so called Arabs, they like to do a little war cry <laughs> with their tongues. It's, it's along the lines of. Um, <laughs> it's, it's along the lines of that one. <laughs> But yeah, like it says, they're going to come out with many vehicles and there's going to be multitudes of them, man. There's going to be loads. And this is also the Carmenians, which the Carmenians, being the Iranians or the Persians, raging in wrath, shall go forth as the world bores as the wood. <clears throat> which basically means they're going to be Charging into battle. <laughs> There's going to be no fear on them, man. <clears throat> and it says, and with great power shall they come. 
and join battle with them, and shall waste a portion of the land of the Syrians. And I know it says the land of the Syrians. <laughs> and there's stumbling blocks throughout the scriptures, which the Syrians that he's talking about here, <clears throat> that name has been given to the daughter of Babylon, which the daughter of Babylon is America. <clears throat> and it says, And then shall the dragons have the upper hand, remembering their nature, and if they shall turn themselves conspiring together in great power to persecute them. <laughs> so there you go, man. They're going to persecute America, man. And they're going to be joined up with the parents. And also, let's get this, man. <clears throat> Zephaniah 2 and 13 and it says and he will stretch out his hand against the north and destroy Syria and will make Nineveh a desolation and dry it like a wilderness and you see if we go back to all these kingdoms the Lord, the Lord took them down man and, those, and all these names can be attributed to America <clears throat> and it says, And flocks shall lie down in the midst of her. All the beasts of the nations, both the common man right and the bench, shall lodge in the upper lintels of it. The voice shall, shall sing in the windows. Desolation shall be in the thresholds. For it shall uncover the sea the work. In layman terms, destruction is it's, it's as simple as that. Nothing but destruction. <clears throat> And verse 15, like it says, This is the rejoicing city that dwelt carelessly, that said in her heart, I am, and there's none. It's lucky, let me read it again. I am, and there is none beside me. How has she become a desolation, a place for beasts to lie down in? Everyone that passes by her shall hiss and wag his hand. And all these things were made mention. <coughs> about the door of Babylon. For example, beast lying down in a... Jeremiah makes mention of that. Isaiah makes mention of that. <coughs> and even those that pass by shall hiss some Maggie's hand. That's in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 50. <laughs> Literally verse 13. <coughs> and only that, but... I am, and there's none else beside me. Isaiah chapter 47. Then she going into America thinking the plague that the Lord's going to bring isn't going to come upon them. <coughs> and you know, let's get, let's get a few. Jeremiah 50 and 13, it says, Because of the wrath of the Lord, it shall not be inhabited, but it shall be wholly desolate. Everyone that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished and hiss at all her plagues. <clears throat> Put yourselves on array against Babylon round right about, all ye that bend the bow. Shoot her, spin her arrows, which you have sinned against the Lord. Basically, meaning those that have nuclear capability. Basically saying, use all of them, man. All those nuclear warheads. Literally fill all of them. ICBMs up, man, with nuclear warheads. And destroy it, man. And even then, Isaiah 47. Here we go. Isaiah 47 and 8. It says, Therefore, hear now this, thou that art given to pleasures, that dwell carelessly, that says in thine heart, I am, and none else beside me. 
I should not say as though we don't live as I know the loss of children. So like I said, man, the plagues that the lows is going to bring, they think it's not going to affect them. But like I said, but these two things shall come to thee in a moment in one day. The loss of children and widowhood, they shall come upon thee in their perfection. For the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thine enchantments. <clears throat> And yeah, man, we all know about Hollywood, man. We know the into witchcraft and sorcery and magic. And even then it says, For thou hast trusted in our weakness. Thou hast said, None save me. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it have perverted thee. And thou hast said in thine heart, I am, and none else beside me. So basically saying, The God. <coughs> And it says, therefore shall evil come upon thee. Thou shalt not know from whence it riseth, and mischief shall fall upon thee. Thou shalt not be able to put it off, and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. And that desolation will come from those into continental beasts and missiles, man. And it says, stand now with thine enchantments, and with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast laboured from thy youth. If so, be thou shall be able to profit, if so be thou must prevail. So basically the Lord saying, continue with your witchcraft, your magic. See if those things will be able to help you. I'm going to bring these plagues upon you. And sit so down wearied in the multitude of thy counsels. Yeah, those secret counsels, man. The secret counsels of the wicked. Which we know in those councils they practice witchcraft. Just just to name a few. The Jesuits, Bohemian Grove, Illuminati, Freemasons, Skull and Bones. These are just some of the secret councils of the wicked men. And it says, Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. Yeah, be in the plagues. And it says, Behold, they shall be a stubble. <laughs> the fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There shall not be a call to warm at, no fire to sit before it. Yeah, this ain't no ordinary fireman. This isn't fire that you'll be able to control. Literally, the fire that the Lord's going to bring upon America, it's going to burn everything, man, So there's nothing left. <clears throat> like it says, man, Here we go, here we go. Second Andrew 16 and 13. He says, For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that shoot are sharp. Guns those intercontinental ballistic missiles. And the reason why they're sharp is because they're highly ac accurate. Going into the term sharpshooter, meaning these arrows or these intercontinental ballistic missiles, they're accurate, man. And like it says, and shall not miss when they begin to be shot to the ends of the world. Meaning these missiles are long range. And it says, behold, the plagues are sent. and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. The fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consumed the foundation of the earth. So again, until there's nothing left in Babylon, man. Till it's a desolate wilderness. And it says, like as an arrow which is shot on my eyes, returning not backward. <laughs> so yeah, once these plagues start going, there's no stopping them. Even so, the plague that shall be sent upon earth shall not return again. Woe is me, woe is me, he will deliver me in those days. The beginning of sorrows and great mornings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when this evil shall come? <coughs> And also, let's get, um, what was it again? <laughs> I 
Revelation 18 and 7. It says, How much she have glorified herself and lived deliciously, talking about America. So much torment and sorrow give her. For she saith in her heart, I say a queen and am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. Just like in Isaiah chapter 47. And like it says, Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine. And she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord God who judges her. So there you go, man. America is going to be judged with fire. <clears throat> All those intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. <clears throat> but yeah, man, I hope this was edifying. I'm going to give a praise to you, man. Glory to you, Hell, God, Shemal, Shabbat, Shemal, Kakadash, and Shemal.